Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about callback functions in JavaScript. So essentially a callback function is a function which is passed into another function which is then executed on some sort of event or change of state. So the most simple example would probably be something like an event listener. So for example, if you have a, um, an HTML button and when you press that button, a callback function will be executed, which will then, you know, do something. So let's see with an actual example. I'm going to define a new button inside the body here. I'm going to give this button an ID, an ID of my BTN. Okay. Inside here, I'm going to also just say click me. All right. So now if I save this, we get this in the actual browser window. Refresh, we get that right there. All right, so let's add an event listener to this button. Inside the JavaScript, we're going to first get a reference to that button itself. So let's define a new constant called myBTN equal to document.getElementById and pass in myBTN, the ID, inside there. So now we can actually communicate and talk to this button using JavaScript. All right, so now down here I'm gonna say my button dot add event listener I'm gonna add the listener for the click event okay now here is where I put the actual callback function in this case it's called a listener so I'm simply just going to define a function inside here and just um, maybe say something like console.log the button was pressed okay so now this block right here, we're adding an event listener to this button, which means that when I click this button, I want this function to run. And this is called a callback function. So this is happening whenever an event happens and it's actually being passed in to another function. So we're passing a function to another function. All right. If I save this one in the browser, we get the expected result of refresh click the button, the button was pressed. So that is the most basic example of a callback function. But I think the best way to learn is to actually make one yourself. So I'm going to do this. We'll get rid of all this stuff right here, including that button. All right. I'm going to define a new JavaScript object. I'm going to call this object name list. And this object will store a list of names and we can add names to that list. So let's define a new constant. I'm going to call this one name list, all right? Equal to a JavaScript object literal, all right? Inside here, let's declare or define two properties. The first one being names, which is an array, the list of names to actually hold. And the second one will be the property which stores the callback function that we're going to define. So let's call this property on new name and give it a value of null for now. All right, so that property is going to store the callback function that we're going to pass in. So let's define a new property. Uh, this will be a function called init. So initialize the actual property. It'll take in one argument or one parameter. That will be the callback function. I'm going to type in new name callback. All right, and that will be where you actually define the callback function. So now, inside here, I'm going to say this dot on new name is equal to new name callback. The reason for this is is um because uh, we're going to execute this on new name callback function whenever we add a new name to the actual list. So we're going to call name list dot add name. Okay, and we call that function we're going to then execute this function. So let's just define a new function called add name. This will take in, this will take in uh, a string called name. All right, we're going to add this name argument to the names array. We're going to say this dot names equal to, I'm um, sorry, this dot names dot push and pass in name inside there. So we're adding a new name to the list and we're going to just add it like that to the actual array. Now for the interesting part, all right, we're going to call the onNewName callback function. So down here, 
I'm going to say this dot on new name. All right. I'm going to pass in name. So let's recap real quick. We have an object called name list. It stores two, um, I guess, two value type properties. We have um, the names array to store a list of names and also the on new name property, which stores the callback function. And this function will run whenever we add a new name to the actual name list. The initialize function takes in the uh, new name callback function and assigns it just like that. And then the add name function or method will add a new name to the actual array and then call the on new name callback function. And we're going to pass in an argument to that function, the recently added name. All right. So now to actually understand this properly, we're going to actually use this, um, this object. So let's first start by initializing the name list. So we're going to call name list dot init. All right. Inside here, we're going to actually pass in the new name callback. Let's put a function inside here. All right. This function takes one parameter, one argument, and that'll be the recently added name. So we'll say, okay, new name. All right. Inside the function body, this will simply just console.log the new name. Okay. Now, down here, I'm going to add a new name to the name list. I'm going to say, okay, name list dot add name. I'm going to add my name, Dominic. Okay. That is all done. If I save this and then refresh the browser, what do we get? Refresh. We get Dominic in the console. Ignore that one. Let's refresh one more time. That's all right. We get Dominic in the console. Okay. Perfect. So in this case here, we're adding a new name to the, um, the object. It's being added and then we're calling the on new name callback function, which then prints to the console. Let's actually pass in two parameters to this on new name callback function. Let's pass in name and also um, this dot name. So this will be this will be all the currently added names to the name list. Now inside the callback function, we can then take advantage of that new argument or new parameter. We'll say, okay, all names. So we're passing in an extra, um, an extra parameter called all names. Now we can say console.log the also um, the new name, and also we can pass in something like this. We can say um, the current list is, and then we're just going to say plus all names. Okay. So now if we add two names or maybe three names to the list, we'll add Sophie and also John. All right. If I save this, we now, in the console, we get Dominic, list is Dominic, and then so on. All right. Now, the magic here is that you can do whatever you want with this callback function. You can add more elements to the DOM. You can make an API request. You can do whatever you want. So that's why callback functions are included so much in libraries like jQuery, all that stuff have these functions that way you can actually customize it to suit your needs. This is entirely up to you right there, but the actual object works the same way. All right. And that's how you can use callback functions in JavaScript. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.